Lauren Singer, who lives in New York, managed to not make any waste for the past two years. Yes, and that's because she is a strong environmentalist. So Lauren, I was wondering, what was the inspiration for this lifestyle? Sure, this all started when I was an environmental studies student at NYU, and in one of my classes, there was a girl that every day she would bring in a plastic clamshell full of food with a plastic bag and a plastic water bottle. And every day I'd watch her and get really frustrated that she would just throw it all out. Um, and one day after class, when I was kind of upset, I went home to go and make dinner, and I opened my fridge and I saw that everything that I had was packaged in plastic, and I kind of just froze, and I was like, I am such a hypocrite. So in that moment, I decided to quit plastic. Um, and so in doing that, I learned how to make a lot of my own products, like toothpaste or, you know, deodorant, and um, I... When researching these recipes, I came across a blog called Zero Waste Home by Bea Johnson, and she's a wife and a mother of uh, two kids. And I saw, you know, if a mother of two kids can do this, I can certainly do this. So it's been two years, and to this day, I haven't made trash. Wow. And in the past two years, were there any moments that you wanted to stop this project? No. You know, this is my lifestyle. This is how I live. This is what I'm used to. Um, you know, changing this lifestyle would mean changing my habits and changing how I go about my everyday life. And so I don't see any reason to do this. I'm really happy living the way that I'm living. So everything is great and I don't see myself stopping. So what are some of the weirdest techniques you had to use to not make any waste? I wouldn't say that they're the weirdest things per se, but I've definitely done some things that people aren't really used to. For instance, I use a menstrual cup, which is kind of a cup that you use instead of traditional feminine care products. Um, I make my own deodorant, which people think is kind of strange. Um, and I've even tried to make my own rug once out of my old t-shirts and I completely failed at that, but I tried. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Lauren. It sounds very uh, inspiring. And uh, if you want to know more about this, check out the link below.